What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining me today on another episode on this channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you'll know when I put out future videos. Also, check out the link in the description for the merch store. Get your t-shirts today. Today, I have to address a concern of mine. And this concerns David Benioff and D.B. Weiss coming over to Lucasfilm to create Star Wars movies. Now, when they were first announced, I was very, very excited to see the Game of Thrones creators come over to Star Wars to create Star Wars movies. I was thinking, why didn't these guys get this long, a long time ago? We have gotten Star Wars movies by Ryan Johnson, Trash, J.J. Abrams, Unoriginal. These guys seem to know what they're doing. And now we have Game of Thrones Season 8, the finale of everything. And I've been watching this season. I'm a big-time Game of Thrones fan. And something is just not right with Game of Thrones. Now, when they were making pretty much all of the other seasons, they had a template. They had George R.R. Martin's story for them to adapt. But with this season, that is not the case. They're making this season pretty much from scratch. They don't have a template to go to go to to rely on. So this has kind of made me question a little bit how good of a creator of stories are David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. I'm still going to give them a lot of credit for Game of Thrones. They did a great job creating that show. But now that they're coming over to Star Wars and it's rumored to be the old Republic, but we don't know that for a fact, they're pretty much going to have creative control on what they make for their movies. They don't have a George Lucas writing a story for them and telling them, hey, go ahead and create it based off of this. That's not the case. They're going to be given a clean slate to do what they want to do. Now, another big concern is Kathleen Kennedy has said that these guys are, they've been working with Ryan Johnson on creating their Star Wars movies. That is another huge red flag. Why are David Benioff and D.B. Weiss consulting with Ryan Johnson, of all people, on Star Wars? Ryan Johnson seems to know absolutely nothing about Star Wars. Did they not see The Last Jedi? Why are they consulting with a guy that was given a Star Wars trilogy, but apparently it's never going to see the light of day? Because those new Star Wars movies that have been announced are David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. So many red flats now have, have me very, very concerned about the future of Star Wars movies. Star Wars seems to be living on Disney Plus, and what they're putting out seems to be pretty good as far as we know, as far as The Mandalorian goes and Clone Wars Season 7. We don't really know much about the casting and or series, and that's just a completely different thing. But do you guys have some of the same concerns that I have now based off of Season 8 of Game of Thrones? Some of their decision-making on the story elements, they're questionable. They really, really are. Um, the whole Jamie and Bran thing, the, the fall-off in that, it kind of fell flat with me. Um, the Battle of Winterfell, a lot of people complained about that, even though I love... Arya killing the Night King. But it was a lot of the other things in that battle that just didn't, it just didn't feel right. I mean, these are the guys that made the Battle, battle of the Bastards, one of the best episodes in all the Game of Thrones. And now we get season eight. I'm still holding out hope that the last two episodes are going to be good. But... I don't know. I do have con some concerns now about the last two episodes. I'm not saying I hate this season, but it is not on the same level of seasons one through seven. It's just not. 
they threw in pretty much the first two episodes of season eight really was just wasted. They really could have just eliminated those two episodes and got right on to the Battle of Winterfell. But those two episodes pretty much were just filler episodes. And I don't get it. So I'm wondering, do these guys have what it takes to create original stories? And apparently not based on season eight of Game of Thrones. It's a big red flag. I'm not the only one that feels that way. I've been holding out and thinking real hard on this about season eight of Game of Thrones. And it's concerning now. It's very, very concerning. I'm a much bigger Star Wars fan than I am a Game of Thrones fan. So more poor decision making by Kathleen Kennedy. Maybe at play here on the people that she hires. To me, she's only had one hit to me, and that is Rogue One. Now, you can make the case, yeah, all of these movies made a lot of money. Hey, but they're Star Wars movies. They're going to make a lot of money. You know, that doesn't make the, the movie good at all. So, but guys, let me know what you think. Do you have some concerns about David Benioff and D.B. Weiss coming over to game, coming over to Star Wars, I should say, after season eight of Game of Thrones. I'm telling you, they have to, they have to deliver in these last two episodes. They just have to. I don't know what's going to happen if these last two episodes are very, very flat. There's rumors out there. I haven't read any spoilers for the last two episodes. Some people have, and they say it's, it's absolutely horrible. But we'll have to see. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix, out.